Wow, and Nintendo Switch Mini, that seems great. Well, what is this? What is other bit of news? Okay, Nintendo, more expensive online. Really got my blood boiling. Haha. <laughs> There's a two bits of news, two tidbits of news from uh, someone named Nikkei at Gimet, Gimet, Gimatsu. I don't know, G-E-M-A-T-S-U, Gimatsu, I don't, Gimatsu, I don't know, you tell me. But anyways, they got, they said they got some reputable sources. So they said they got, they, they know what they're talking about, so is what they claim. Pff, not my words, okay? I'll take my word for it. Let's listen to what they got to say. But they said Nintendo, obviously we've heard a million rumors about Nintendo Switch fucking mini. Uh, over the last like fucking year, it's been like, oh, they're doing it, they're gonna make it. But everybody's everybody's fucking saying, Michael Pactor, whoever the fuck, everyone and their grandma said, yeah, Nintendo's gonna make a Switch Mini. But here we go. Nikkei says that they uh, that, that that they that they got these reputable reputable sources, and they said that Nintendo has been talking to suppliers and game developers, getting them geared up and ready to go for the Switch Mini, or a smaller Switch, I don't know what they're gonna call it, but it's Switch Mini, well, who knows. And uh, they said their, for their focus is gonna be on portability, obviously. So I don't think there's gonna be detachable Joy-Cons if this is the case. They said they wanna, they wanna focus on like playing it outdoors, it's like their idea of what you're gonna be doing with this thing. So I don't think they're gonna have fucking Joy-Cons because they want you to sit in the grass and play with your fucking thing. They don't want you to sit your fucking Switch in the grass because then ants are gonna get in it and you're gonna fry your chips and your boards. They're gonna be all fried up from bugs in your Switch. So no, it's gonna be a portable handheld device, not no no detachable Joy-Cons. We'll say, well Shane, what about the Mario Parties and all the other games where you gotta take the Joy-Cons off? You can't play them, obviously. We, I talked about this before and I said, what about those games as well? But hey, I'm willing to sacrifice Mario Party for a portable Switch, okay? Believe you me. They also said that it is going to be cheaper uh, to manufacture, to, to make. It's gonna be cheaper for you to purchase, cheaper to make because they don't gotta worry about the dock, they don't gotta worry about the actual Joy-Cons, they don't gotta worry about all this other stuff, it's gonna be one solid unit, and uh, it's gonna be less than 300 bucks, so that is fucking great. Some people wanted a more powerful Switch, uh, but, you know, I would rather have a portable Switch over a more powerful Switch. Me, personally, the Switch's power is fine as it is, until we get into the next gen, deep in the next gen, then the third party stuff's gonna be kinda tricky, but anyways, I want that goddamn thing to be more portable. It's a fucking huge, takes up a lot of space in my backpack. So a portable switch would be fantastic. I hope there. I hope this is correct and this is true and this is coming out and it's cheaper and everything. That's great. Cause then I got my my regular switch in my dock at my house and then boom, I got my portable switch I can bring with me on the go. And I'll probably play the portable one even more anyways cause I can just lay in bed and just enjoy it and have fun. So really hope this is true. But another part of, uh, of Nikkei's findings here that they claim to be true is that they also uh, said that Nintendo is uh, has plans to launch a more expensive online service in 2019, which uh, right off the bat, that sounds not good. They said that it was gonna be aimed at game enthusiasts that are willing to pay more for a higher tier service. Uh, game enthusiasts was the key word there. So me and Cameron were just talking about this right before we started filming. Uh, I, I feel like this might just be like, oh, we saw the Super Nintendo shit coming in and game enthusiasts, it's like, oh, what do you mean game enthusiasts? Like, oh, I like games, okay. So you're just gonna offer us more games for the higher tier service, is that what it is? Is, is, the, is the base uh, online gonna be fucking NES games and the higher tier gonna be what? Super Nintendo, N64, whatever? Like, is that the fucking deal? Cause that's a shitty, that's a fucking terrible man. You don't, you don't cut this shit up like this, you know. I, I, another thing that leads me to believe this too is like Reggie in the past has been like, the Nintendo Switch online service is focused on NES games. Uh, and you know, in the back of his head, he's like, I didn't say the higher tier one was. Ha ha ha, gotcha buddy. Uh, so this, if this is true, that is fucked. Nintendo, you do not know how to do online. PlayStation uh, and Xbox do not have fucking different tier online. You got the standard across the board online. That's the way it should fucking be. Uh, you give us our Super Nintendo, give us our NES, give us all that shit on one online service. Don't be like, well, if you want it, if you just want just to play online and you want some NES games, here's the basic 20 bucks. The whole, the whole deal with your online was, Oh, it's twenty dollars. It's so cheap and easy and fun. There should be no complaints here. Obviously, we don't get that much, but it's twenty bucks. But you're gonna segment it off into something else with a forty dollar tier for like you get SNES games, then maybe we'll get a sixty dollar tier where it's like, boom, we got sixty four in GameCube, bitch. Uh, it all sounds super fucked and very terrible. Just another point in the camp of hey, Nintendo does not fucking know how to do online. God damn it, we keep talking about this every fucking week. Nintendo just does something else. It's like. Wow, they really still don't get how online works. Holy fuck. 
So uh, half the news was great that uh, Nikkei reported on, the mini switch. Loving it, liking it, want it, let's do it. And in the uh, segment and online, uh, it's fucked. And to know if this is true, no, no, friend. No, no. You're going to get a hell of a backlash for this if it is true. That is for damn sure. The internet is going to have your ass on the chopping block very soon. I promise you that. I promise you that, Nintendo. Um, unless you offer something fucking absolutely incredible, which is not going to happen. And some more Nintendo. This is all Nintendo news day. Surprise. Happy they had a fun. They had a great day. Nintendo had a great day, I guess. Uh, the, uh, they, they announced a Dr. Mario mobile game called Dr. Mario's World. And it is being developed by Nintendo, NHN Entertainment, and Line Corporation. You hear this, Cameron? Line's making a, a fucking Mario, Mario, a fucking Dr. Mario game. Line is. That'd be good. That's weird, but, you know, whatever. They do have puzzle games on Line. Line is a Japanese texting app that me and Cameron use. We have a lot of friends in Japan. So we got to keep in touch with them. And Line's a great way to do it. They got fun stickers and everything. And they do got a lot of puzzle games. So I can see that. Dr. Mario is a fucking puzzle game. Uh, it's supposed to come out in early summer 2019. Free to play, obviously. Free to, you know. It's gonna have microtransactions out the ass. It's gonna, it's gonna have optional purchases, which is gonna be like, oh, you can play for 10 minutes, but then you gotta let your crystals recharge, uh, or you can pay us a buck and keep playing. Whoops. Would you know your fucking fat ass is at the goddamn DMB and you're like, I got nothing else to do, here's a dollar. It'll pass the time, here's a fucking dollar. They're gonna nickel and dime you and get some dollars out of you. But hey, free to play, if you got the willpower, it'll just be free across the board. Man, puzzle games are cool. Dr. Mario is cool. So maybe I'll download it and check it out. I don't know. I'm not much of a mobile man. We all know this. But hey, what can you do? It's going to be available in 60 countries outside of the U.S., iOS, and Android, of course. Nintendo's not going to leave you high and dry in that regard. Uh, but we don't know shit about it. They literally just said, Dr. Mario World coming summer 2019. They didn't say anything else. They didn't say, like, they didn't. I don't know if they confirmed it's a puzzle game. It's fucking going to be a puzzle game, though, uh, especially with Line helping develop it. But uh, Dr. Mario World leads me to believe it's going to be, like, Ooh, we're gonna visit some fun, like, Egyptian theme levels and maybe, like, some rainforesty type of levels and something like that. Who, I don't know why you would call it Dr. Mario World if you're not gonna have some type of world involved. I don't fucking know. Maybe you'll go to fucking, like, Isle Delfino or some shit. Who fucking, I don't know. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll travel around in the Mario universe, like Mario Odyssey, but with Dr. Mario, and you're gonna go around curing diseases all over the world because he's a patron saint of video games. I don't fucking know. But uh, sounds all right, and uh, Nintendo's definitely, uh, they're, they're boosting up that mobile library. They want that mobile money, because there's good fucking money to be had there. Uh, they also, uh, Mario Kart Tour got delayed uh, to improve quality and expand the content offerings at launch. They want goddamn Mario Kart on mobile to be a fucking banger right out of the gate, because that thing is going to just print them fucking money. Mario Kart on consoles prints them fucking money. Your random brads and chads in college that don't give a fuck to buy a goddamn Switch They'll play like Flappy Bird and like Candy Crush on their phone when they're shitting. You better believe they are going to download Mario Kart and play that shit with their friends all the fucking time. I'm going to check Mario Kart out on the mobile for sure. No doubt about that. Uh, maybe me and Cameron will have some fun races while we're both shitting in the house at the same time. <laughs> Who knows? Look forward to that. But uh, hey, Nintendo is definitely been, uh, uh, amping up their mobile library. So that's, I guess, good and bad. Maybe uh, Iwata is rolling in his grave. Who fucking knows? I don't know. Sakurai revealed recently the most used Smash Bros. Ultimate characters and uh, some statistics. The most used Smash Bros. Ultimate character was surprised, it was surprised to me, was Cloud. For some, somehow Cloud is the most used Smash Bros. Ultimate character. I don't know how, I never hear anybody talk about him. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, you know, Cameron's video even pointed out that Final Fantasy VII is like shit on in, in Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's like the least represented franchise in the fucking game that actually has a character in it. Uh, almost. It has like, like no. It has like I no content. Online, it's Lucas, 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 right? MK I, Rule, Lucas. I, I have no. I have no idea how it's Cloud, but that's what Sakurai said. He may, maybe he's lying, but who knows? He said the most used was used was Cloud, and the most used for Elite Smash was Ganondorf, uh, which is also random. I'm like, okay, I don't fuck, whatever. If you say so, buddy. Uh, but he said that uh, no fighters have a uh, in one v one victory rates. There are no, there's no fighter with no lower than a 40% win ratio or a, or a fighter that exceeds a 60% win ratio. So they're all pretty about halfway, like half the time they win, half the time they lose. That, that fighter, you know what I mean? 1v1, like whatever versus whatever, you know what I mean? 
you got your King K rules. His, his, I think he was on the higher end, like a 57 or some shit, something like that. But anyways, uh, so he said it's fair to say that no fighter is too overpowered or underpowered. It's up to the player's skill, which I don't play fucking Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I hear there are overpowered. I hear King K rule is overpowered. But uh, I don't think he likes uh, patching the game and nerfing characters and doing all that stuff. So I don't expect too much of that. I did hear that King K. Rool got a little nerf recently. But I think that's, there's going to be, I think the game's going to be pretty much left alone for the most part as it is. I hear Piranha Plant is fucking incredible though. Everybody I've heard talk about Piranha Plant says like, whoa, whoa. He's really, you better call Nintendo. You better get on that fast, buddy. He said don't call him. Yeah, <laughs> You know, whatever. But an uh, interesting stat, uh, stats from Smash Bros. Ultimate from Sakurai, his baby, his child. Uh, I'm imagining he's pretty goddamn burnt out on the fucking game. So people asking him these kind of shit, I'm sure he's like, just, can, just tell him, it's Cloud. Cloud's number one, all right? Is that what you wanted? Go away. A Persona Q2 finally got a release date for the West. June 4th, 2019. Cam, are you excited? Isn't I that great? I'm glad to hear that. June 4th, 2019 is getting the, the Western release of Persona Q2. We didn't, we didn't know before uh, today when the fuck it was coming out. But uh, we also got some other news. They got a they got a deluxe edition coming out with a little plush and everything. It's 70 bucks, which, oh, whatever. I don't know, not my cup of tea. But uh, the game sounds really awesome. It's like a based on movie franchises. The, each dungeon has like a specific theme, like an action movie or whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, and there is no English dub for the game. I think this, this is a really late 3DS game. They said, fuck it, just do the Japanese dub with subtitles. We don't want to deal with it. Just get it out there. That was pretty surprising to me. Uh, Atlas said they have no plans for an English dub for the game, only subtitles. So 3DS, I mean, obviously 3DS is fucking almost dead. It accounted for 4% of Nintendo's sales over the holidays, or 4% of their revenue was from 3DS. So, I mean, Persona Q2, we're lucky to fucking get it at this point. Am I right? I mean, goddamn. But hey, camera's excited. If I had a 3DS, I'd be goddamn excited. It makes me want to get a 3DS just to play the fucking game because we, we're, we, we're a Persona household up here, all right? Especially Cameron. He fucking is all about it. He loves Persona to death. So good news for Persona fans. And slightly bad news, but it's fine. Some silly willy news right here that I saw. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? Uh, James Gunn, as you know, was fired from Marvel for their P They wanted to grab those PC points. They said, whoa, people are calling him out for shit he did like 10 years ago, and he's apologized for it already before we hired him? Wow, okay, this is great. Let's fire him so people will think we're fucking key. No, everybody was bummed at you, Marvel. That was stupid. You're going to listen to the vocal minority on, on some... A man changes. He grew and changed over time. It is not the way he acts or behaves nowadays. He apologized for it several times. Goddamn Marvel, you son of a bitch, you're gonna ruin Guardians of the Galaxy 3. You fucking dicks. But anyways, he is now working for DC as the writer and director for a Suicide Squad reboot. Suicide Squad reboot. The, didn't the fucking movie come out like last year, right? When the fuck did Suicide Squad come out? It, it, it was less than two years ago, for sure. Um, and they're already rebooting it because it was it, it was like no one gave a fuck about Suicide Squad. It was just like everybody saw it and they were just like, I mean, all right, I guess. I mean, the Joker's fucking sucks and goddamn Suicide Suicide Squad fucking trash. Will Smith was good. Will Smith is always good, right? Uh, but the Joker was Garbo. They cut out a lot of Joker scenes. Uh, so hopefully, actually, and there's not even a hope. James Gunn is gonna fucking if he's writing and directing this. He's gonna nail it. It's gonna be fucking amazing. It's gonna be great. James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy. You've seen it. You know how fucking good it is. So a Suicide Squad reboot uh, under his wing, boom, is gonna nail it. And Marvel's gonna be looking, uh, probably they're probably gonna be looking at DC like this, like, well, we got we got PC points for for, for firing, and you guys just got you know a lot of praise and money, but that's cool, whatever. Uh, hopefully you do not fuck up the guard, Guardians of the Galaxy three Marvel. Cause I know where you live, okay? But uh, good, uh, good to hear James Gunn is doing well. He does great stuff, great guy. And finally, more Nintendo news. Finally, the bit of Nintendo news. This is, this is pretty interesting as well. Nintendo cut its 20 million sales target for this current fiscal year that ends in March from 20 million. It was originally 20 million. Did I say that already? 20 million. They're now in for 17 million units. Uh, they said that, hey, you know what? They took into consideration the, the past sales they've had this year and, so, and all software and everything in the, in, the, in the future coming up. They said, ooh, man, we are just not gonna hit it that hard. 
17 million. How's that sound? Still pretty fucking good, goddammit. It's better than last fiscal year if they hit that 17 million. But hey, I knew they weren't gonna hit that fucking 20 million. Everybody knew they weren't gonna hit that 20 million. Nintendo got a little cocky. They thought, hey, look at 2017. We fucking nailed it. Woo, 2018 came. Ga fucking game draw all the way up until like the fucking 10th month of the year or some shit 11th month even i don't fucking know first party drought we obviously had octopath travel and stuff like that some decent third party stuff but for first party it was a bunch of re uh fucking re-releases from the fucking wii u ports and shit fucking whatever and then we got in november december we got pokemon and smash but that was not enough to help them hit that goddamn 20 million now was it and to know you learn from your spake mistakes and next year we're gonna do better i certainly fucking hope so um, and during the holiday quarter in the same report where they said that they were axing that 20 million, uh, during that same report, they said that the Switch made up 90% of Nintendo's revenue from the holiday season. Yeah, that's all the pie chart. Boom, 90% from just the Switch. Mobile was 2%. So they're really trying to crank that mobile out to get that, that, that little, that piece of the pie a little bigger. Uh, you know, regardless, it's, each piece is going to get bigger, but it's going to be more revenue. Switch is going to probably do better next year we're all hoping but anyways 3ds was four percent and other was four percent as well which is like toys amiibos all other shit stuff that can't be classified as switch 3ds or mobile you know fucking toys maybe pokemon cards they may probably make money off of pokemon cards they're goddamn names on it so i don't fucking know but four percent but uh, 90 percent that's a pretty goddamn big chunk nintendo's doing very well with their consoles still even though they're not gonna hit that 20 million still very interesting uh 17 million is really good and uh hopefully like i said next year they got a bunch of stuff announced already they announced uh all the exact all the release dates they reaffirmed them recently too they said luigi mansion's coming in spring uh yoshi you got the fucking date for fire emblem or no luigi mansion was just 2019 fire emblem was spring 20 2019 uh all the games that we've heard about so far got a solid release window uh, except for Bayonetta 3 and Metroid. Obviously, we know what the fuck happened with Metroid. Woo! But Bayonetta 3 just says TBA. So, probably 2020 now for Bayonetta. But anyways, still looking like a great 2019. A lot of stuff we don't know about for damn sure. Uh, hopefully, we get some of that soon. Where the hell is your goddamn direct, Nintendo? We're getting all this fucking news from everybody else. But we want it from you. And we want your new games. Uh, direct on our YouTube feed. Please and thank you. Um... Seriously, where the fuck is it? It's already fucking... It's about to be February. Tomorrow. God. Woo! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. Drop a comment down below. What the fuck did we just say? I don't even fucking remember. Uh, if you want to look like this badass, it's on your screen right now, though. Hit up our merch store. If you gamecrew.bigcartel.com. We got shirts. We got mugs. We got all that fun stuff. And uh, great pricing, uh, good shipping, great quality. Go check it out, and you can be in our videos. Whatever you buy, a mug, a shirt, whatever you want, send us a picture, and we'll throw you in a video. And you can be uh, a superstar like 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 me. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, but if you don't want to buy merch, but you still want to support the channel, we got a Patreon, patreon.com slash FUGamecrew, or a direct PayPal link uh, in the description. All the other links are in the description for our other channels and other content and all that other fun stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see ya later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Oh, Reggie's calling. Oh, wow. More expensive online, you stupid fuck.